Okay, here's a little demo of Yeelight Control from Kodi with my Yimi add-on for Kodi. First, we're going to open the add-on. As you can see, there is one bulb there. Its IP address is in there. And the new function is called Controllers. We're just going to test the bulb if it works. Just turn it on. I'm going to run another function to test the bulb. Here's the bulb. It should light up in a few seconds. You see it's red. It doesn't show really well because I'm recording from my cell phone. But you can see that it's lit. And now pretty soon the color flow is going to start. I'll change to green, blue. So we're changing colors. So, uh, Yimi add-on is communicating. Uh, the tablet you see there is uh, just a wall switch, wall panel with software I made. So you can turn on the lamp, change color, brightness uh, in multiple rooms. But uh, the new controllers function does something else. It sends the message from Kodi Box to the tablet, which uh, is now in my ultra book, but should be really hanging on the wall somewhere as a light switch. So when you play a movie, it automatically tells Tasker add-on to which it sends command. You see, there are two screens. One screen is uh, switching of lights, and the other screen is control for Kodi, remote control. And uh, the controller's function sends a message to Tasker and when you start a movie it automatically changes the screen to Kodi Remote Control. Uh, the reason I'm waving my hand is that I have another software which is using the front camera. You see now the screen is going to return to the light switches. When we run video again it's going to slide to code remote control. Uh, the reason I'm waving my hand is because I have another software which is preventing device to go to sleep because it uses front camera.